The path of Hurricane Ida was not an act of nature. It was the result of covert and complex climate engineering operations. Hurricanes are being heavily seeded and thus saturated with climate engineering elements. Many of these elements are electrically conductive. Thus, exposure to powerful radio frequency microwave transmissions manipulates the seeded storms by repelling the storms and the air mass around them away from the microwave transmission sites. Land-based sites and sea-based SBX microwave platforms. This effect is clearly visible on this microwave transmission level monitoring loop that geoengineeringwatch.org captured during Hurricane Ida's path. As Hurricane Ida reached landfall, the storm was first stalled by land-based microwave transmission facilities that slowed Ida's inland advance. The storm was then continuously steered by the extensive network of microwave transmission sites. It is the ability of the climate engineers to steer storms like Hurricane Ida that allows them to so accurately plot their exact future paths often a week in advance. The U.S. military first initiated hurricane manipulation operations 74 years ago, Project Cirrus, in 1947. Not opinion, not theory, not conjecture. It is historical fact. If the weather controllers did not want Hurricane Ida to ever even develop, it would not have. If the geoengineers did not want Ida to make landfall, it would not have. In other parts of the country, if the climate engineering cabal were not completely blocking the flow of moisture into the U.S. West, it would not be completely drying up and incinerating. All the way back in the 1960s, in Vietnam, the U.S. military used weather modification operations to flood whatever they wanted. Again, not theory, it's historical record. Are we to believe that after a half century of rapid technological increases in weather modification, that the climate engineers could not augment precipitation anywhere they want, like along the U.S. West Coast, with the whole Pacific Ocean on the doorstep? The weather makers are actually aggressively blocking precipitation from the U.S. West. This is a satellite image proven fact. Climate intervention operations are nothing short of weather warfare. They are the single most environmentally destructive form of human activity. The weather makers leave nothing alone. Nothing. All is now tainted. Covert climate modification programs are not only decimating the planet's last remaining life support systems with epic drought and deluge scenarios. The highly toxic fallout from these operations are contaminating every breath we take. The fight to expose and halt climate engineering is a fight for life, nothing less. All are needed in the desperate battle to expose and halt the climate engineering insanity. Share credible data from a credible source. Make your voice heard. Make every day count. Stay safe, stay strong. This is Dane Wigington from geoengineeringwatch.org.